Ladies and gentlemen, let's get my next guest out uh, from the Six Nations and Grand Slam winning England rugby team. Uh, we have four of the fellas. I'm not quite sure how we're going to fit them all on the couch, but before we meet them, let's see them in winning action. So be yourself. It's Farrell to Joseph. This is why he's starting the match. Danny Kerr! The first try on the night, and it's gone to Danny Kerr. Joseph, that was lovely. Oh, my goodness. England get it off for their captain. And the England supporters, they can all celebrate a perfect European season again. For the first time since their World Cup triumph 13 years ago, England has a Grand Slam. Fantastic to see them in action. Here they are. It's Dylan Hartley, Billy Vanapola, Jonathan Joseph and Danny Kerr, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just show it off, Billy. Okay, now we've got that space. Wow, you've got to do the comments in there. Billy, thank you for that. Thank you for bringing that. Like, JJ, how, how are you? you? Right. Danny, great to see yeah, you. Come and sit down. Yeah, so you've got some space here. OK, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this car. Now, that is a proper sporting place. Wow. Thank you for bringing it on. And congratulations. Uh, if the people aren't uh, necessarily know, explain what that actually means, winning the Grand Slam. Uh, so, six teams in the tournament, um, we won every game, beat every team. So you have to beat every single... So you won every one of the games you had? Simply, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of said that. <laughs> I just wanted to make it clear, because that's an incredible achievement. When did you begin to feel that that was a, a possible reality? Probably ten minutes from the end of the last game. Really? Is that about right? Yeah, you were knocked out, so you wouldn't know. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly cannot remember. So, so uh, Dylan, you really can't... So you're the captain, so this should have been... I've, the... I've been told that. <laughs> yeah. And you, you were concussed during the match. Okay. Was it a particularly hard challenge? I mean, what happened? Why, how did you get knocked out? Um, so, there's this big guy on the French team. He, he's 24 stone. Wow. Billy... Yep. 20 stone, you are? On a good day, yeah, 20 yeah. stone. 20 stone. So this guy, look at him, he's 24 stone. Good Ever time. since I was 10 years old, uh, every coach, every dad has told me, big boys, tackle them around the knees, tackle them around the ankles. So going low? Yeah. And people are still coaching this. Um, so I've gone on low, and um, instead of tackling him, I've, I've kissed his knee with my head. And you literally don't remember anything in the match after this? No, I mean, I can't... Apparently, I lifted that. Apparently, um, so I got you don't, that. you don't remember lifting the cup at the end? No, um... No, the doctor's orders were to stay in the change room. Somehow I made my way out. Yeah, that's me. Uh, apparently that happened, so... Um, <laughs> it's all a bit of a blur. The, the only thing I can remember is um, putting my suit on after the game. But you look like, for someone who doesn't know what's going on, you look like you're having a great time there. Oh, I think I am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the prognosis? You're OK? Are you getting any memory back to them, or will that memory always be gone, do you think? Um, I don't know. It's, it's a bit like, um, you know, when you go to a party and have too many beers and you look at your phone the next day and... So my Twitter's filled up with um, photos from the game. I've watched the video, obviously, and I'm starting to try and piece things back together. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm, at the moment, I'm just having a rest and... I'm assuming the rest of you do remember what happened. You must have had a great time as well. Let's go. Danny, you still scored an amazing try, didn't you? Yeah, a little cheeky one. Uh, it was nice, obviously nice to get over in a, in a big game like that and we uh, got to enjoy them moments. Uh, but, no, we, uh, we, had a, we, had, we had a good night. We had a few beers in the change room afterwards. We kept it quite low-key throughout the tournament. We didn't go out and give the large and after game one. We, uh, we definitely did it after game five, though. And this was at the advice of your or captain or was this the new coach who was keeping you on a tight rein? Eddie loves it. Eddie loves a bit. He texts me in one of the weeks off saying, I think we should have a pub crawl. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if he was joking so or the not. Coach is telling the, <laughs> the coach is telling the captain we should take the guys out on a pub crawl. No, well, I think what he meant was have a, a beer in, in the down week before we go yeah. for dinner. We go for dinner every week and um, we basically went to the pub and had two pints and then went for dinner. Billy, you look like you had about as good a time as possible in the dressing room afterwards. <laughs> oh, I remember, no, I, I think I got concussed as well. <laughs> so your eye, we should explain the eye, is not in the new X-Men. That happened during the match, didn't it? 
No, it actually happened the week before. Wow. It just lingered. For the pizza. Yeah, it just kind of uh, stuck around. It's pretty cool. I kind of like it. <laughs> You might as well own it, I guess, if yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but presumably, it, it's not hurting you at the moment, is it? Or is it? No, and that's why I like it. It doesn't hurt and it looks cool. <laughs> but it does look very cool. It does, eh? Yeah. But you wouldn't want both of them red, because then that wouldn't look cool, no, would it? No, no, no. I'd look pretty weird then, wouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you like to see Billy enjoying himself in the uh, dressing room after that, gentlemen? Yeah. Okay. This is just after the France game. You've seen this, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, check this out. Hello there, you are TV. I'm here with the main man himself. Big Chief to a line. Chief, tell the people how many people you are there come watch the game. We were on about. That's the chicken, sir. Thank you for all the right, you're on the tickets, man. Chief. Street boys are back. Come on. Uh, JJ, I haven't really spoken to you much yet. Uh, did you always want to be a rugby player? Or were other sports uh, of interest to you? Or were you steered in that direction? Um, as a kid, I, I played sort of all sports. Um, you know, tennis and rugby were my main ones. And it got to sort of 12, 13, where I had to make a decision which one I wanted to prioritise. And rugby was the one which I thankfully did. And why rugby? Why did you choose rugby? Um... I think the, the team sport, um, you know, I enjoy being around these boys. I enjoy uh, playing alongside fellow, fellow lads. I think the, the banter's great. Um, you make friends and, yeah, being in the team sport is, is the main thing for me. But you know what, looking at you, I think, Billy, you've got the bill. People would say, yeah, there's a rugby player right there. Dylan, you're pretty solid as well. You've got, you. you've got the kind of look as well. Your head is the right shape. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know... Uh, but you guys, your your backs, aren't you? So you've got to be faster. But... Yeah, we're the fast, talented ones. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, the uh, it, I think the great thing about rugby is it's it's a game for all shapes and sizes. You know, the biggest the biggest lads are tend to be the biggest rugby players. You know, you see Billy and people are scared of him. I'm scared of him when I when I play against him. I actually punched him once in a game. Uh, so what? In, in anger. Saracens, yeah, stood up. Punched the first person I saw, I realised it was Billy, and I ran as quickly as I could. Uh, Did you catch him, Billy? No, no, I'm, uh, I, I quickly forgave him because I know he's my teammate. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh. But, Dylan, you used to be a bit more knockabout <laughs> on the pitch, and you seem to have calmed down since becoming the captain. Yeah, we've all done things that we wish we hadn't, Jonathan. No, <laughs> 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 Things we can't remove from Wikipedia. Um, <laughs> but uh, I guess that is part of the process of becoming a captain, is actually taking on responsibility and, and realising you've got to keep calm, keep a, a level head. Well, just, just uh, from a personal point of view and, and a team point of view, I think setbacks, failures, um, whatever it may be, are, are key ingredients to, to winning things down the line. How do you guys find him as a captain? Is he... Uh, I mean, obviously, it's been a major success. <laughs> But is he, is he too strict with you, not strict enough? Uh, I'll go to you, JJ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Probably the wrong person. Me and Dills have a, have a good relationship. Um, I think at times he likes his little power trips. He likes... Wow. Uh... <laughs> now, why don't you tell us what you think? I mean, that's... Uh... <laughs> no, in all can, honesty... Can I comment? In all not, honesty. Not yet. Hang on a second. JJ Let... said he loves team sports. I love team sports, and he's a very good captain. Um, you know, he, he knows when, what to do at the right time, but... <laughs> There are moments where he likes, you know, just to know that he's a bit above the rest. Well, but he has to be in charge. He is. Of the, course, the of course. Sometimes the young fellas just need a bit of direction to... and pulling in the team direction. Not all young fellas, do they? Sometimes some of the young fellas, some of them. <laughs> some, of them <laughs> some of them. Yeah, what are the, uh, the fans of the different fans? When, for example, you beat another team, I guess, if you're leaving and you run into those fans, that must be tough because passions run high. Who are, have you ever done that? Have you ever bumped into, like, leaving the French match? Did you bump... How did you avoid the French fans? In Wales, how did you avoid the Welsh fans? We, uh, well, we get stick wherever we go, to be honest, because everyone hates England. Um, <laughs> but the main place is Wales. Uh, we get a lot of stick. You get a lot of stick on Twitter. Um, I remember going to a game, I think, back in 2013 and driving within the bus. Obviously, everyone's focused and you look outside and... Everyone's giving you the finger and leaving a little granny going... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there was, there was the one time, I think, there was a, a guy with his top off giving us a load of shit. Load of shit and he, uh, he ran and headbutted the bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It was, it was a bit like one of his tackles then. Yeah, one of his tackles. <laughs> he he, he headbutted the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, the, the bus won. The bus was okay. The bus was okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So when you guys are... You know, if you were teaching someone rugby, because I've never played rugby, I think I gave it a go at school once. It wasn't for me. I was, you know, just too, too slender and considered too beautiful by the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I'd second that. OK, well, let's have a demonstration. Rather than me trying to tackle you, because I think we're about a similar level of athleticism, I think... <laughs> well, I, mean, I think Russell should try and tackle oh, you. Fuck off, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you guys I'm, think sat, I'm sat here all polite watching them. Yeah. I haven't said anything. Why have I got to fight the bigger boys? Because, Why? Because you're younger... Sure, show you, coward. You try and take them down. You're a younger, fitter man than me. I think that's more of a challenge. Yeah, but they're going to kill me. Look at them. <laughs> well, let's give it a go. Billy, stand up and show us out. Uh, OK, so we got that... We brought that in for Russell. Right. <laughs> Did we? Yeah. Thank Russell, you, you want to have a go at this as well? Come on here. You can be my prop. Um... <laughs> So, so Billy, Billy's <laughs> running. <laughs> this, this. Hey, that's normal. He's running. usually running this way. Oh, I don't like got, I'm not going to run. I'll just... He's got a ball here, and he's got an elbow here. Okay, we've right. got and a he's ball got knees you. moving here. So where am I aiming? Um, I'll put your head. Yep. Is look. You want to go low? Yeah. So yeah. you want to go in? Yeah. Come, come, come. Yeah, just yeah. slow, slow, slow. Do it we'll slowly do first. Walk, do it slowly. Yeah. And you want to plow slowly, slowly. Right foot. Yeah. Get right shoulder, head there. there. OK. Drive back. Right. Wow. OK. And then just do that But normally, miles an hour. Okay. This, so this could be the last time that we see me... I don't fall off backwards. Functions. If you've gotten injured just by falling off backwards, that'd be truly... Right, sorry, just go for it. Let's go for it. What's it doing? Do it! Oh, wow. Are you good? Are you good? Are you I don't know whether I need to now. Can I need to. You need to. All right, OK. You're going to do it. Hold it. Hold it. So what do I do? I get you here like this. Yeah, yeah. Like this. And hug it. That's wham. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a couple of hands down there. The size of those guys. There's some big boys that come and carry. Come and have a feel of this. <laughs> That's where all the power comes from. Never mind that. What was that nudge against my shoulder? That was like <laughs> <my belly. laughs> That's my belly, mate. Don't worry I about don't that. think it was, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I just launch myself at him. Just do it. <laughs> I'm tempted. Okay, you ready? You OK about it? Yeah, 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 on. I'm giving you a lot of space here as well. All right, don't make it worse. <laughs> don't make me con self-conscious about okay, it. OK, I'll look over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you ever tackled yourself, but you're quite formidable. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree they're going to come to the England rugby team. Yeah.